Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a lot of stuff to go over, a bunch of new collaborations, cool stuff to talk about, and just overall, well, spoilers once again. So just spoiler warning, let's get into it. So Epic Games and a guy named Edmund McMullen or Millen, is in the talks right now to bring the Binding of Isaac to Fortnite. Now, I personally have never heard about this, but it looks extremely creepy, but at the same time, I think it would be a crazy back bling. I don't really know how this, like, little character could be an actual skin or even, you know, something in Fortnite that's usable, uh, but as far as, like, a back bling or perhaps a pickaxe or something of that nature, obviously, that's definitely possible. So, let me know what you guys think down below. I post this over on TikTok, and it's actually quite popular, and it's kind of strange. I've never even heard about this game before. But honestly, I probably will check it out at this point because it seems like a a lot of people say this is a great game um with that being said though uh, something very strange is this guy was also in the talks with fall guys which obviously is also owned by epic games and apparently they just kind of ghosted him after a while so i do kind of wonder if the same thing will be happening with this guy in fortnite but i guess we'll have to simply wait and see but you guys want this collaboration let me in the comments below and if it's actually worth playing um with that being said another collaboration uh fortnite x mclaren collaboration might be coming soon apparently this collaboration will actually feature rocket league based uh cars that already got the mclaren collaboration so whatever mclaren cars are inside of rocket league that apparently is what's becoming a fortnite so again i don't know i don't play rocket league so i can't really tell you guys exactly what the models are and all that great stuff but obviously if it's a mclaren it's going to be freaking sick looking so yeah very very cool very similar to the ferrari collaboration um with that being said as well there's a whole bunch of concept artists that are just going absolutely bonkers lately. Uh, so we also have Stan Smith from American Dad as a brand new concept. I just want to showcase really quickly because, well, it just looks pretty cool. I think this actually would fit surprisingly well in the new uh, Fortnite universe that we're in. You know, with, I mean, we already got Family Guy. Uh, someone else actually made a Simpsons collaboration as well as a concept. And now we have American Dad. So all the crazy shows might be coming to Fortnite at some point. And honestly, they all kind of fit perfectly. So what do you guys think? Uh, speaking of collaborations, once again, we now have, well, Captain Jack Sparrow. Apparently, Captain Jack Sparrow might be coming to Fortnite as it was now spotted inside the survey. Uh, we all know for a fact that next season is probably based around Greek, Greek mythology, and Greek gods. Well, we do have this skin in the back of the video that's actually uh, Cerberus, I think it's called, which of course in Greek mythology is like this like three-headed wolf guy. So someone took this concept skin and, it, and made it into an actual skin over on Reddit, which just looks freaking awesome. I really thought that it looked cool at the beginning with but this image just honestly solidifies how cool this skin is going to be so at some point during next season we could be seeing this greek god which is just going to be so freaking cool man uh along with that we might be seeing a whole bunch of brand new mythics being vaulted uh for this next upcoming season so the foundation mk7 assault rifle tn tina's uh kaboombo jig and choppy's ray gun uh havoc sounds assault rifle and i believe that's about it so all these have either gotten updates new animations and all that great stuff which definitely means they're either coming back, being unvaulted, or whatever it may be, but they're definitely coming back at some point, probably by next season. I forgot to show this during the Rocket League uh, collaboration with McLaren, but apparently Hot Wheels also might be coming as this is also spotted inside the survey, and obviously Hot Wheels fits well perfectly with the whole rocket racing aspect. To coincide with this, it looks like yesterday, for whatever reason, Epic Games just released this trailer of the Comet skin, so obviously this will be an indication that this will be coming out tonight, as of course it was actually teased out yesterday after the item shop reset, which obviously if it's not today what would the point even be so the comet skin is very likely to be releasing tonight and in case you guys do actually cop this use code happy uh it's pretty interesting they're actually trying some new things out like teasing skins beforehand uh to kind of build up some hype along with that uh, a new trailer featuring you know both variants of lego fortnite and the regular br version so very cool along with this this off brand rocket character is coming soon um so yeah the trash panda is coming soon i'm not really sure like where this actually came from i'm pretty sure it's a survey skin uh but yeah it was actually teased lately instead of a new uh loading screen and with that being said it was also mentioned inside the survey so without a doubt it is definitely coming soon which i honestly believe it might even be soon i can't really see this fitting with the whole greek thing. so perhaps we'll be seeing this you know before the end of the season which is you know very soon moving forward with our video for whatever reason Epic games is still releasing winter fest emotes so with that being said, there's still one more Winterfest emote that's encrypted, uh, which of course would be this like snow plow emote. Now what's really strange is this only works in Lego Fortnite. So that's why we're showcasing it in Lego Fortnite. That is the only way to actually see this emote. Uh, but do not worry, it will actually work in Battle Royale. It will be sold inside the item shop, just like this snowflakey one that just came out. I don't really know why Epic Games is releasing Winterfest emotes now. I mean, we're like in 2024, December is long gone and it just doesn't even make any sense at this point, but it is what it is. I I will still take you know brand new emotes because it's better than nothing dude i'm so sick of seeing the weekend and the exact same skins inside the item shop we need some you know variety at this point um so speaking of variety it looks like people have figured out that perhaps we, we, we could be seeing jam tracks 
as actual backlit. So like the records on your back, you know, just kind of make it something more worthwhile of actually buying. I think this is a great way to make it more useful or more worthwhile of buying. You guys can now, you know, rep your favorite artists on your back and stuff like that. So kind of a cool idea. Someone else just made another concept based on uh, trading. Honestly, I don't think this will ever come to the game primarily due to, well, scammers, stuff like that, or scammer, scam, scammer, and all that crazy stuff. So I don't really think we'll ever be seeing actual trading inside the game. But if they actually were to come out, this would be a great way to make it a lot easier to understand. So you guys will have to both, you know, confirm the trade before you guys actually do it. So that way it's kind of like an extra round. Uh, so you guys don't get scammed or you guys can think about it as this other person accepts first. So just like for security purposes, it's a great way to, well, hopefully avoid that. Um, guys, yeah, with that being said, there's really nothing else to talk about, which is primarily due to the fact why I have been making shorter content. There's just not that much to talk about these days. Epic Games is not releasing as much content as they used to. But with that being said, I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. Uh, there is a new season coming soon. And with that, I really do hope that there's gonna be a lot more content than usual. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and stay happy.